During the submission phase of the peer review activity with Loop Workshop, students submit their work which will later be allocated to and reviewed by peers. This work might be a document that needs to be uploaded, or a link to a Loop Reflect portfolio, or a Unicam link, and so on. To begin, open the Loop Workshop activity. If there are instructions, be sure to read them. When ready, choose Add Submission. Give the submission a title. Sometimes the peer review activity might be conducted in an anonymous manner, in which case the lecturer may give instructions not to include anything identifiable in the submission. However, in this example, the submission is a personal philosophy statement, which is inherently identifiable anyway. This personal philosophy statement could perhaps be in video format, or be a loop reflect portfolio, in which case paste the link to either of those in the online text box. Or, if it is a written document, drag and drop the document from your computer into the file submission box. When it has uploaded, choose Save Changes. The work has now been submitted. Now it is time to wait for the lecturer to move the activity from the submission phase to the assessment phase. During the assessment phase of the peer review activity with Loop Workshop, students review the work of their peers that has been allocated to them. To begin, open the Loop Workshop activity. If there are instructions, be sure to read them. Scroll down to see what submissions have been allocated to you. In this example, only one has been allocated. Choose Assess to move on. In this example, the author submitted a document, so download it to your computer, Open it, read it, and bear in mind any instructions or guidance that has been given to you. When ready, return to Loop to begin reviewing. In this example, the lecturer has asked reviewers to comment on two aspects of the submitted work, its strengths and its areas for improvement. There is no score or grade to give, which is why we consider this a peer review activity and not a peer assessment activity. Take some time to look at the guidance provided for each aspect. When ready, enter your comments in the relevant text box. It's best to do this in one sitting and in good time so that you avoid losing your work when the loop auto logout time elapses. Sometimes there is also a text box on the bottom of the screen where general feedback, not specific to the given aspects, can be provided. But in this example, we just need to comment on the two aspects. Therefore, choose save and close when ready. Now it is time to wait for the lecturer to move the activity from the assessment phase to the closing phase, where the reviews will be distributed back to the authors, who can then peruse the feedback and apply it.